Here comes the backlash. 100,000 women take to Britain's streets as part of worldwide protests against President Trump as Emma Watson and Cher join 500,000 piats marching on Washington. The march in London began at the American Embassy at midday on Saturday and will end at Trafalgar Square. Organizers' marches are calling for people to join them as part of an international day of action in solidarity. Marchers say they want to vent against an incoming administration they fear will roll back women's rights. Organizers expect 2.2 million to take part in the marches around the world. The Piats are a reference to Trump's grab her by the PY quote from the 2005 Access Hollywood leak, would leak, wearing pink, pointy-eared Piats to mock the new U.S. president. Throngs of protesters descended on the U.S. Capitol and other cities around the globe today to show Donald Trump they won't be silent over the next four years. In more than 600 marches held all over the globe, they carried signs with messages such as women won't back down and less fear more love and decry Trump's stand on such issues as abortion, diversity and climate change. There were early signs that crowds in Washington could top those that gathered for Trump's inauguration on Friday. City officials said organizers of the Women's March on Washington had more than doubled their turnout estimate to 500,000 as crowds began swelling and subways into the city became clogged with participants. Celebrities including Katy Perry, Madonna, Scarlett Johansson, Jake Gyllenhaal, Emma Watson, Ashley Judd, Cher, America Ferreira, Kristen Stewart, Charlize Theron, Whoopi Goldberg, Cynthia Nixon, Charlotte Church, Yoko Ono and Amy Schumer are among those taking part in rallies across the world. Some 2.2 million people are believed to have marched to promote women's and human rights, with an estimated 100,000 out on the streets in London. Huge demonstrations have also been held in cities including Paris, Berlin, Edinburgh, Rome, Prague, Amsterdam, Stockholm, Athens, Copenhagen, New Delhi, Brussels, Mexico City, Barcelona, Manila, Toronto, Madrid, Geneva, Cardiff and Sydney today in opposition to the 45th President of the USA. Read more, www.dailymail.co.uk web link. Follow us, at Mail Online on Twitter, Daily Mail on Facebook, Facebook. Thousands of protesters packed Trafalgar Square to listen to speeches in London after taking part in the Women's March. Swathes of protesters are pictured making their way through the streets of London on Saturday. While the march organizers' mission and vision statement never mentions Trump the unifying factor among those turning out appeared to be a loathing for the new U.S. president. Madonna speaking during the Women's March in Washington where hundreds of thousands of protesters made their feelings about President Trump clear. Michael Moore and music legend Cher were among the celebrities at the rally in Washington. Emma Watson smiles as she arrives at the Women's March in Washington, D.C., on Saturday. A huge cutout of Trump's face was carried during the march in London on Saturday. Demonstrators in Paris carry placards during a rally in solidarity with supporters of the women's marches around the world. Thousands of demonstrators marched to the U.S. consulate in Amsterdam today to stand up for equality, diversity and inclusion. A woman in London captured the mood of 100,000 protesters who took to the streets on the first full day of Donald Trump's presidency. Singer Camilla Kerslake and her boyfriend former England rugby captain Chris Robshaw were seen at the march in London. Organizers of London's Women's March have hailed a huge turnout, which saw an estimated 100,000 people pack into Trafalgar Square for a rally at 2 p.m. They came holding a rainbow of placards with slogans such as Dump Trump, Reject Hate, Reclaim Politics and No to Racism, No to Trump. Actress Gillian Anderson tweeted that she was proud to take part in the Women's March in London today. Actress Gillian Anderson tweeted that she was proud to take part in the Women's March in London today.
Mr. Trump's presidential campaign was plunged into crisis after a 2005 tape recording came to light of him bragging to TV host Billy Bush about groping women and that he can grab them by the PY because of his celebrity status. Actress Gillian Anderson, star of The X-Files and The Fall, who took part in the London March, tweeted, Proud to be one of many today. Holding a sign saying my PY is not up for grabs, Kim Sinally said she had travelled from Brighton to London for the demonstration. The 32-year-old said, Yesterday was seen as the official start of fascism coming back. Iron Man 3 actress Rebecca Hall were spotted among the throngs of people. Hall said she joined the march because she is half American and half English, and said if she had been on the other side of her pond she would have joined the Washington D.C. demonstration. She added, Yesterday was a confusing day and a sad day, I was sad to see Obama leave, we do not know what the government is going to be like. Labour MP Harriet Harman was joined on the march by friend and American British playwright Bonnie Greer. Referring to outgoing U.S. President Barack Obama, Ms. Harman said, It's just a shame they have a two-term limit. The sign reads Paris against Trump as thousands of protesters gather underneath the Eiffel Tower in the French capital today. A man in an orange jumpsuit and a Donald Trump mask, left, and a protester, right wearing a dark mask were pictured in London. Ms. Greer warned that Mr. Trump's presidency was not a joke, adding, This is for real and I think this march demonstrates that London understands that. Spectators lining the London route cheered as the protest made its way towards Trafalgar Square. She claimed human rights and human equality is getting pushed further and further down the list. Ten-year-old Lily, an American youngster living in Britain said, I don't like him at all. She added that it's important for women and girls to have their rights. Around 1,000 people joined in the rally in Cardiff today in opposition to the 45th President of the USA. In Cardiff former classical singer Charlotte Church joined around 1,000 protesters on the Women's March. Mum of two Charlotte, 30, joined in chants and was holding a cardboard sign adorned with the feminist phrase. I didn't come from your rib, you came from my vagina. She was dressed in a light brown anorak and wore rounded sunglasses and was wearing a black rucksack. Ashley Judd recited a poem written by a 19-year-old from Tennessee, which included the line, I feel Hitler in these streets, a mustache traded for a toupee. The poem was a celebration of nasty women, as Trump so famously called Hillary Clinton during a debate before the presidential election. I am a nasty woman, Judd began as she read the poem. I'm not as nasty as a man who looks like he bathes in Cheeto dust. I'm not as nasty as your own daughter being your favorite sex symbol, your wet dreams infused with your own genes, she read later, clearly referencing Ica. Feminist hero Gloria Steinem also addressed the crowd saying, everything that happened before him was a disaster and everything that he would do would be fantastic the best ever, miracles and all the superlatives. He said he was for the people. I have met the people and you are not them. Describing the atmosphere at the march she said, this is the upside of the downside. This is an outpouring of energy and true democracy that I very never seen in my very long life. It is wide in age, it is deep in diversity and remember the constitution does not begin with I the president that begins with we the people. If you force Muslims to register, we will all register as Muslims. This is a day that will change us forever because we are together, she said. When we elect a possible president, we too often go home. We've elected an impossible president, we're never going home. We're staying together, we're taking over. Former Senator Hillary Clinton and former President Bill Clinton arrive at the U.S. Capitol on Friday for the inauguration ceremony of Donald J. Trump as the 45th President of the United States. States. If she get on top and turn around, I'm busting. If she do that thing with the mouth, I'm busting. This is not this!